First of all, help us understand the scale of a task of this nature. If we're talking about two years in the UK, how long might it take before we can expect to see notes and coins well, look, like that in the Gibraltar? UK, the UK currency is legal tender in Gibraltar mm -hmm. and our own notes are. Uh, they are talking about two totally different situations because obviously what they will be doing in the UK is they will not be issuing the stuff that they've got in their vaults. Mm -hmm. And when they've got the new replacement, what they will do when, the, when your money eventually finishes in the bank, the bank will probably send it to, to, the, to the Bank of England that will sh trash the, the old notes and replace them with the new ones. Right. And that process will take two years because <clears throat> it will take that long for people to hand all the money that is already in circulation, which is many, many, many hundreds of, of thousands of, of notes, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, look, just changing from from paper to plastic yeah. has taken three or four years. Absolutely. Right? But in our case, what we've got is a very large stock of unissued notes, right? right. And we are still, n we have not printed a new issue. Mm -hmm. uh, and now the logic is that when we get around to printing a new issue, it will be with uh, Charles the, the Third rather mm -hmm. than with his mother's so, image. So when do we expect to print that new issue? Well, we won't be doing anything, obviously, until after it's been done in the UK, quite apart from anything else, because in the coins in particular, I mean, mm -hmm. you know, really, we make very little money out of the paper money. We make a lot of money out of the coins, right? Mm -hmm. But the coins, we've already got uh, 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 coins in the pipeline that will still carry the effigy of Her Majesty, because they were approved by her before her uh, unexpected death, and that, and that means that everything that we had planned for 2022 will still happen. Mm -hmm. We will not be issuing coins for 23 until we have an effigy of, of uh, Charles that has been approved uh, by, uh, uh, the, by them, because we, they have to approve the coins, they have to approve what is on the coin, and they have to approve the, the, so now there's a, a kind of competition to, mm -hmm. to, with different people submitting uh, right. the image that will go, and and that that but that will happen I think quite early in 2023. Right. In the meantime, uh, our own business will not suffer because uh, I introduced some years ago as an alternative mm -hmm. the the crest of Gibraltar because there were some coins that the palace was not very happy to have the queen on the other side because it might have been, you know, about a pop star or something like that, but those are the ones that sell most in right. the international okay. market. So, so, so we didn't want to lose that market. So we, we, we got permission to use the crest. As, as, and that also is a faster process because I don't need to send it to Buckingham Palace for approval. Do you, ex do you expect you might want to issue a commemorative coin to, to mark the, the queen's death as a, as a sign of respect for the queen's death? I, I don't think it's the, I don't think it's it's the right thing to do mm -hmm. uh, because we, we, how do you do it I mean you know we 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 cannot we cannot mint any coin mm -hmm. that has not been approved by her right if mm -hmm. it's got her image on it of course so I mean it would be a difficult thing to do would you have Charles on one side of the coin and and, and his mother on the other it's not something that I think would be the right thing to do quite honestly.